Hello folks, it's me back with Reflections on the Road. So I'm actually on the way back home now and I thought I might record another episode and this time I'm going to be talking about grammar. Uh, the reason why I decided to talk about this is that a couple of weeks ago I was discussing with some of my students the importance of grammar because we see nowadays a lot of teachers advertising that they don't teach grammar they're going to you know bas basically just use conversation in their classes and I think a lot of students buy that that kind of uh, you know speech so they actually believe that you can learn a language without learning grammar but that's not actually true because if you think about grammar grammar is what systematizes the language and categorizes everything so I don't know if you remember those circles that represent language from phonetics phonology and then we have morphology that is how we create words and then we have syntax how we put sentences together and then we go to semantics the meaning of words in the sentence and then pragmatics uh, given the context meanings can change and everything so if you look at grammar it permeates the whole thing and it allows anyone any speaker of any country to predict certain rules to form sentences that make sense so if you don't have grammar you don't have language right one of the things that we can tell our students when they say that they don't like grammar is that they're going to learn grammar through context it's not that they're going to learn every single rule of exceptions that we have but they're actually going to apply grammar as they learn how to speak and it's not going to be the focus of the class so don't buy into that discourse that you can see nowadays on social media that grammar is not important actually grammar could be said to be the difference between us and animals because animals cannot produce language to the same extent that we can because they have not created rules to combine different words, different sounds. They don't even have a written system of language. So grammar is definitely at the foundation of language and this is really what separates us from other species, right? Now, what is something that we should not be doing in the classroom? I think we don't really have to go back to that very outdated sort of teaching method that relied on grammar translation so if you think of what many people used to do back in the 50s and 60s and even before that they would get classical texts and try to translate word per word and learn the grammar rules and the exceptions so that they could apply whenever they had to say something or to produce something by writing but we know now that this is not very effective because we're really focusing on too much information that is not going to be applicable unless of course you study the language at a different level let's say if you're going to be a translator an interpreter or if you're going to be a language teacher then you have to have that kind of knowledge but if you're going to use the language to communicate you don't have to remember all those rules it doesn't mean that they're not there they're part of the class they're going to be explored by the teacher and as you are communicating as you're using and applying the things you have learned they become chunks you know they become sort of a habit let's say we just remember that things are built a certain way and that's how incredible grammar is so we kind of pick it up as we go we don't have to focus too much on really verbalizing or externalizing those rules as many of the old types of classes and you know courses used to do so how about we shift from a more grammar centered language to a more communicative centered language or something based on situations this is probably what some students are lacking in English classes they feel like they're not learning very well 
because they are really focusing on the rules. They're trying to remember how to do a fill in the gap activities based on that particular grammar that they're learning when actually they, they should be applying the language that they have learned in a context so that they com can communicate with everyone. So that's it, folks. I think grammar is really the foundation of language. It's what makes us communicate with everyone, be able to look at different languages and understand how we can put together words and form sentences. And if we didn't have that, we wouldn't have achieved this incredible and complex degree of language that we have, which separates us from other species.